Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to replace a suspension spring bracket on your direct drive washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to remove the cabinet from the washer and we may also need to lay it down. So the first thing we'll need to do is turn off the inlet water supply, remove the fill hoses and the drain hose, disconnect power to the washer by pulling out the plug, and then we can start our repair. Now next we'll need to tilt that console back so that we can remove the cabinet. Now your model may have screws that go down through behind the end cap, maybe on the back. If there are no screws visible, typically all we'll need is a thin putty knife. We'll win from the front and you'll meet resistance from the spring clip. Just to press that clip. At the same time, rotate up on the front of the console. Now all we need to do is rotate that console backwards and it will support itself. Next, we'll disconnect the lid switch harness, release the locking tab, pull the harness away. And our next step will be to remove the two clips that secure the cabinet and main top to the back panel. So just take a flat blade screwdriver, go down through the opening at the front of that clip, and the screwdriver will fit into a little channel, bottom the screwdriver out, and then pivot it forward to release the spring. We're basically putting our screwdriver in there and releasing that clip where it hooks onto the cabinet on this edge. Do the same on the opposite side. And we'll set those aside. On next, we'll raise the lid on the washer and we'll just grasp the inside edge at the top. We'll tilt it slightly towards us. Now with the cabinet removed, we can go ahead and change that spring retainer. Now to remove this bracket, we'll begin by removing the screw. We don't need to worry about disconnecting the spring first. Then we simply need to disconnect the spring at the end of that bracket. and then we can replace this piece. Now before we do that, if this was worn really badly, you may want to check the end of that spring to make sure there's no signs of any damage on the spring. If so, you'll need to replace that as well. As well as the spring retainer on the opposite end, check that at the same time. If there's excessive wear there, you'll need to replace that spring retainer. I'll we'll take the new bracket, and we need to Hook the end of that spring through that hole in the end. And then we're going to use this little pivot point in the first opening here. Then we just rotate that around enough that we can line up the mounting screw. and tighten that securely. Now, once we've done that, we're now ready to put the cabinet back on. Now, as we position that cabinet over the base frame, again, we wanna make sure that that bottom lip at the front of the panel goes in underneath the base frame. And then while looking down through that lid opening, we can see where those two hooks are on the base. And line that up top. Tilt the cabinet back. Also make sure that we pull that back panel forward enough that the cabin will sit down over the fill valve. Then just check the rear corners to make sure that they dropped into place. Now just make sure that none of the harness or air dome tube are pinched. We'll take our mounting brackets and we'll engage the straight vertical end up into that slot on the back. Line it up with the two slots in the top. 
and then press it down into place until it latches. Do the same on the opposite side. Put that straight vertical piece right into that slot on the back panel. Line it up, snap it into place. We'll reattach our mid switch harness. Make sure that locking tab engages. Now we'll rotate that console into position. We'll make sure that we hook the rear of that console, those two little hook shaped feet into the rear holes on the main top. And the spring clips will fit into the larger holes towards the front. Make sure the back panel is tucked up in underneath the top of the console. Line up those rear legs. And then press it down into place. Now we're ready to push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect our inlet fill hoses, turn on the water supply to check for leaks, push the washer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.